Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, you're going to learn about some of the frequently used words which are uh, specific to autopilot. In this uh, lecture, you're going to learn those specific vocabulary uh, specific to the Microsoft uh, Intune autopilot specific. The first word uh, would be the self deploying mode. This is one of the options which is available within the autopilot uh, when you're trying to create there's something called a profile. So it's a profile is consist of some of the UB experience specific settings. So that's called the profile or we uh, more to more clearly we can call it as the autopilot profile. You will be learning that in a minute or so but to configure that uh, profile or the autopilot profile there is a specific setting called self deploying mode that means uh, it doesn't require you to enter any of the username or password to enroll that specific device in Microsoft Intune. So these are the specific devices might be used in your kiosk or maybe a testing purpose. Uh, they are mostly joining based on your certificates or some other mechanisms it's going to join and these are required uh, at least Windows 10, 18 or 9 onwards. So the first word would be the self-deploying mode uh, which is a mode which will enable the deployment to be automatically uh, deployed. That's the word okay uh, and the, the coming back to the uh, the other options uh, you also have something called white glove. This is basically a pre-provisioning uh, purpose. That means uh, for example um, in the, with the auto deployment when it is started actually the auto deployment it just uh, it's just used to you know provide you the enrollment and for that end user must must to be present in front of the computer. Now what happens is with the white loaf, we don't need any of the end users to be you know, uh, in front of the computer. Let's take one of the example like you have 10 applications to be deployed to some of the uh, computers but when a user uh, starts the computer maybe we are all or you know thinking that uh, it's good that automatically all the applications are getting deployed, but think about 10 applications might require uh, maybe uh, each one maybe a 10 minutes into 10 altogether uh, close to two hours of the time. So, so that much of the time the end user has to spend, right? So that is no more uh, needed if you configure the white glove. What happens is there would be a mediator like your OEM vendor or your IT staff who's going to actually uh, uh, pre-provision all the applications and everything within that machine. So that means the use that in, that means the user when actually starts uh, all the applications uh, will be available. It he has to just enter the username and the password to log in so that his applications and everything will be available. So in other way, think that you build a machine with. Um, maybe with the SCCM or maybe manually and you install all the applications and everything is ready and you're handing over to your end user. So it's it's like uh, it's readily state. So that's a state called white glove. So the other mode would be the user driven mode uh, which is nothing but user have to select the language and the keyboard and then Wi-Fi connection and then followed by the username he has to enter all that manually he is entering but at the end uh, he, his device will be registered within the Microsoft Intune that means whatever the policies are coming up including the applications all that will be delivered to the uh, user driven mode that means uh, to the end user so that's how it's going to work so these are the three different words which we might use in fact I have uh, prepared for all these uh, different slides uh, if you don't get it also it's okay just try to uh, try to think that there are different words different uh, purpose uh, or different uh, profiles different configurations offered by auto deployment or autopilot deployment options that's how you need to know simply remember for now thank you for watching this